an understanding of absolute and relative cell references in Microsoft Excel can save you a lot of time. So let's imagine this scenario. We've got sales for a bunch of video games and the sales are in column D. And what I wanna do is calculate the tax on those sales. And maybe it's a flat tax of 25%, which we see over in this cell here. So to calculate the tax, what I can do is say equals sales times the tax rate. Now I'll enter, okay, it looked like that worked. And so maybe what I wanna do is click this cell again and double click the bottom right corner to auto fill this down. But I see that there was an issue. Everything else is zero after the first cell. And so I'm gonna double click on the next one. Okay, I see the issue now. It looked like the sales reference moved, which was good, I wanted to do that. But it also moved over here this reference on the tax rate. I didn't want it to move. I wanted this to stay right there. And so what I've got here are called relative references. In both cases, that's what they are right now. So the relative, because they're relative to the row, they move based on the row that you're at. And so what I wanna do is adjust this original calculation. I'll keep this relative cell reference on D2 the same, because as I auto fill down the rows, I want that to change but I'll change this reference on the tax rate because I don't want that to be relative. I want it to be absolute. I want it to stay fixed on that. So what I can do is add dollar signs in front of the column and in front of the row number to keep that from moving. That's called an absolute cell reference. Now you can also change this so that just the column or just the row is absolute. So it's a mixed reference, but we won't worry about that right now. So I'm gonna make sure this whole reference is absolute. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now what I wanna to try to do is re-auto fill. So I'm gonna double click the bottom right corner here. And now it looked like it filled correctly for me. So if I double click on the second calculation, the relative reference moved down based on where, where the sales were. And this absolute reference stayed fixed on the tax rate. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.